I'm Orion with Everything Homemade and today I'm going to talk about toads. This toad I found underneath the bank when it was croaking by listening to the echoing sounds that were coming from underneath the bank. It's spring right now so they're breeding and mating quite a bit so they're calling. And today I'm going to show you what their spawn looks like and what they're doing around here in our dugout. So, this toad is probably a male. It is a male. And so how do you tell that it's a male? If it's a female, its ears should be, big, should be around the same size as its eyes or bigger. And if it's a male, they should be smaller. So let's take a closer look here. Those are its ears right there. Those tiny little circles. So I'm just going to keep him moist because he's been in the water a lot and if you dry them out too much, they can die. There we go. So, some of the toads around here are black, but this one is a, green, is a nice green color with brown speckles on him. This is their noise. If you stroke them underneath their chin like this, they croak. And you can sometimes do it with frogs too. This one's just a small one. I have caught bigger ones, but this one was the only one that I could find. So, they are mating and I've been finding a lot of eggs right in this area. So the toad spawn is long strings. It's very delicate and if you do one wrong thing, it can rip the toad spawn in half. Okay? So this is what the toad spawn looks like. These long strings are toad spawn. So I we've seen mating pairs and while they're mating, the female's laying the eggs as the male's mating her. The male uses these front feet his their four feet to hold around the armpits of the female so that so that when the female swims or anything he doesn't accidentally slip off but these the toads around here when you're when you're going to catch them you have to be really sneaky because they'll be looking like this and the second that you come they go under and then they just sit there and they just sit there or they'll go underneath the bank because the ducks have drilled holes under the bank so they use those holes at their homes and they go right underneath <clears throat> and then when they crow it really echoes and if you hear that one that's calling back to this one it's echoing probably somewhere over there <clears throat> but it really echoes underneath these banks so why don't you pick up some toad spawn again and lift it up to show them how, let, let's let him go. Let's let him go. There you go. Look at him swimming away. Their back legs are really, are webbed, but their front legs look like hands. They're not webbed. Now, if we were to try and catch him again, he'd just pop underneath, and it looks like he's heading to the bank. Okay, so... So let's get let's get a little longer piece. There's a and, whole bunch right And here. just lift it up, lift it up to really show them its tube tube-like um, shape. Here's a bunch. Pick it up. Slow. There we go. Look at all of those. This is all probably. This is all. Each of these aren't put together like frogs. They aren't put together in balls, they're just separate strings all entangled around these, these plants to anchor them so that if a little bit of waves come, it doesn't wash them all away. 
so that they stay good and safe. And there's a toad right out there by the island, croaking away. Now, if we were to try and catch him, he'd go, he'd duck right underneath. I see five where I'm sitting. And they like, they like the island, and they like to go right underneath here, because it's nice and open, and it's really good hidey hole, so that they can just keep really nice and calm. Thanks for watching, I'm Orion. With everything homemade, we'll see you on the next video.